Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video we're making a moist chocolate cake with a chocolate ganache frosting. You all are going to die after you try this. So let's just jump straight into the recipe. Let me show you how easy this one is going to be to put together. To start this recipe I'm starting with my flour already sifted and to that I'm going to sift in my cocoa powder. You can use any type or brand of cocoa powder you have on hand and make sure and sift it because if you don't you'll get lumps in your cake and we don't want that. Next goes in my salt, baking powder and baking soda, instant coffee and I'm just going to mix that. And also I'm adding in my sugar at this time now if you guys wanted to make this diabetic friendly you can add less sugar so I forgot to add in my cake spice when I was mixing in my dry ingredients so I'm just gonna add that in now and I'm going to give that a mix if you can't find cake spice just use nutmeg and cinnamon and mix that and once mixed in we're gonna set that aside and bring over our milk you want your milk to be at room temperature and to the milk we're going to add in all of the wet ingredients so two eggs go in my vanilla goes in I'm going in with a few dashes of cocoa bitters and to enhance the chocolate flavor I'm going in with a few dashes of the orange bitters Next goes in half a cup of a light oil and we're going to give that a mix. If you guys wanted to use butter in place, of course you can, but the oil does help keep it very moist. Now to your dry ingredients, you're going to add in all of your wet ingredients. And you're going to take your time and mix this. So just be very careful when mixing it because you don't want that cocoa powder mixture to be flying all over your counter and mix 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 until it comes together and you'll notice how thick it is at this time do not get scared this is how it's going to be at first so once it's nice and mixed in we're going to go in with boiling hot water and this water is going to activate that baking powder and baking soda in there and it's going to give you a nice rise it's going to keep your cake nice and moist and it's going to be very soft and fluffy so just go ahead and mix that in and once it's mixed in it will be very runny what you're going to do now is divide it into two sets I'm using my square cake pan you can use a round whichever you like or you can do this on one big sheet tray so I'm doing this in two layers hence the reason why two pans if you wanted to make this into one cake of course you can and once you have it in there it's going to go into your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's cooked and when you check it with a skewer it comes out clean so let's place that in there and while it's baking let's make our ganache so I'm actually trying to mimic this chocolate fudge from Smuckers which I really like and if you guys wanted to you can add some of that in this sauce so to make this sauce we're going to add our cocoa powder to our pot please make sure and sift your cocoa powder because if you don't you'll notice little lumps in your sauce to that I'm adding in my two tablespoons of cornstarch the cornstarch is going to help give you a really nice thick spreadable sauce in goes two tablespoons of sugar the sugar you can add you can totally omit or you can add less in goes my coffee and my salt go ahead and give this a mix just to incorporate your ingredients and next we're going to go in with full cream milk or also known as whole milk you can use evaporated if you wanted and in goes some condensed sweetened condensed milk some vanilla goes in again 
some of that cocoa bitters goes in again see we're using back the same flavors and we're going to mix be very careful and you want to mix it until it comes together after it comes together you're going to transfer it to your stove and we're going to cook this on a medium low heat and you have to stand by this pot do not move if you move it's going to burn so you want to keep stirring 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 until it turns into a fudge nice thick consistency like this if you leave it thinner it's going to absorb into your cake more if you do it thicker it's not going to absorb as much so guys cook it to the how you would like the cake to feel so if you want extra moist don't cook that fudge sauce down a lot so you're going to take your cake out once it's finished baking and flip it over the second cake i'm just going to trim the top because i want it to be nice and flat i don't want it to be mounded and of course save the trimmings and give it to the kids or you guys can eat it don't throw it out it's still good i'm just looking for more defined and uniform cake hence the reason why i cut that piece off just look at that look how nice and soft and spongy that looks so set that aside and to the first piece that we have on our sheet we're going to add our chocolate sauce or ganache while it's hot and the cake is hot the sauce is hot and it's going to start absorbing remember as i said if you wanted it to absorb into the cake more make your sauce a little on the thinner side so that that cake absorbs that sauce now top it with the other piece inverted so the cut side goes on the bottom and you're going to add more of that sauce and cover the entire cake cover all of the sides and if you guys wanted to trim the sides just for it to look neater you can do that also and once you finish covering it you can go ahead and cut and then serve this cake was so decadent and when it cooled down that ganache set up so perfectly make sure and serve it on something nice not on the tray you you put the ganache on because it's going to look a little messy and just look at that pure decadence i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe try it let me know what you think make sure and follow all my tips thank you all so much for watching if you make it tag post a picture on instagram and tag me so i can repost your picture do remember guys to continue to stay safe and i'll see you in my next video Bye everyone.